This is a cute question. I want to know the answer to this. Does he get to strut his stuff in that suit he got? Oh. The blue suit. You really suit. want to know the truth? I really do. The, the suit is too big. <gasps> it's too big. Oh. Yay. <laughs> He's going to have to get it taken up. Mm, that's a good uh, sign. To be honest, I don't know that it can be taken up as much as it needs to. Impressive. Chris, Chris, Chris. I'm very, very proud of you. Oh, I know what I was going to ask you. Okay, are you still doing your workout with the tires and the hay bales? And the, you know, oh, out the there? Oh, let me tell you. Here's the funny <laughs> part about that. The, day, the two days after that, I couldn't move. That would be me. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, I, I almost, I've only called in for my job probably 14 days in 20 years. And I almost had to call in because I physically couldn't roll out of bed and walk. Oh, wow. I mean, I was so sore. Yeah, he and probably I, over he probably overdid it a little bit for your first time, huh? Oh, I guarantee I did, but it didn't matter because after two days, I was back out there doing it again. <laughs> the, so, the so easy, you are still the, doing them. Oh yeah, I still I walk. Well, I put in roughly twenty thousand steps a day or more, and. Holy cow. Yeah, I got 30, 40 minutes of exercise on top of my normal eight-hour day work. 20,000 is impressive. Now I'm yeah. feeling a little bit uh, like I need to go take a walk after this. Well, <laughs> the biggest difference that I've seen before when my wife and me would go shopping and we'd take off walking to a store, she would have to kind of linger back for me because... I would just walk my own speed, you know, because slow and steady always wins the race. And right. uh, now, when I take off walking, I take a three and a half to a four foot step, and she said, and she just about has to run to keep up with me walking to a store because she she'll finally look at me and tell me, "Will you slow down, please? I don't want to have to run to go shopping." <laughs> I love that. That is wonderful. I'm really glad to hear that. Now I'm that, definitely going to take a walk. <laughs> I mean, but I, I only live two blocks behind the store that I work at. So oh, now, that it, wow. now that the cold weather is out of the way, gas is $5 a gallon or $4 a gallon. So I might as well just walk two blocks to work. Amen to that. Oh, trust me, I'm very familiar with the gas prices. You know what I do, and let me tell you, I'm going to have to find something else because just driving around, delivering food for a living, no. Well, can I ask you what they are in Arizona right now, what the gas prices is? Uh, well, they change daily. It was four sixty nine yesterday. It could be four seventy nine today, but four sixty nine. The cheapest place I found gas yesterday was... Four nineteen a gallon. The most expensive place I had to stop and get gas was five nineteen a gallon. Wow! Can you imagine though living in California? I have a friend who lives there, and she's in here. Natalie, what do y'all pay for your gas right now? I have, a friend me she, I have a friend telling me she was paying seven dollars. Wow! Now, Could you imagine? <laughs> I don't want to have to work for a whole hour just to pay for a gallon of gas. Yeah, that, that doesn't make you feel very good about working. And then, no. No, it makes me want to retire quick and just go buy me a horse. He can eat the yard <laughs> grass and I ain't got to worry about it. <laughs> right? Let's see. Now that he has lost weight, what clothing has he bought that he couldn't wear before? Oh, that's an interesting question. Do you buy skinny jeans now, Chris? Come on now. What <laughs> a fat boy look like in some skinny jeans? Not happening. Uh, to be honest, I'm going to name some brands that, I, that I've always wore that now that I've got 
a whole lot smaller, I can go. I don't have to special order or any more. Car okay. Hard. I'm a firm oh, car believer hard. in car. Yes. I know they right now they don't have a good view in the public, but I'm from the farm and the country, and when it's cold and you're working on the farm, there ain't nothing better than some good Carhartt pants and a blue jean or the the flannel Carhartt shirts. If you got to have coveralls, they got to be Carhartt. You know, that's just... I know, exactly. I'm very familiar with Carhartt. It's a it's a big thing, I think, primarily down south. I I, mean, I know a lot about it. I didn't know that they had a bad image. I, I haven't kept up well, with that. They made the well. See, I got a factory thirty-five miles away from me. Okay. The Carhartt factory, and they made all their employees get vaccinated, which. Uh, I, the mandate. Yeah, they're having a. They they got a big, they got a bad disposition on that, but I'm not speaking about anything like that. I'm just speaking. Yeah. Fr- from years of experience wearing their clothes. I know all I about their clothes. A, yeah, so when you when they last five or six years on the farm, you might as well just you pay you get what you pay for it. And exactly, that's where I'm at I know, that, and I know they cost quite a bit, but I know they do last for a really long time. A pair of my jeans, I was able while well, I was in Gatlinburg to walk into a car art store and buy clothes on the shelf. Um, so I was able to buy jeans and you know flannel shirts so you're looking at 36 dollar fare for jeans i'm used to paying more than that when i was bigger so and they're going to last me five to ten years go ahead and give them to me and that's just <laughs> where i am well and we yep. see you chris flex his muscles there ain't no muscles <laughs> to flex there ain't nothing but phlegm <laughs> Natalie, he flexed his muscle for you. <laughs> oh my God, this is great! I know she asked what kind of what. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, what kind of what kind of music you like? And funny enough, Natalie, we were just talking about that before we came up on here, and I was kind of surprised. So I let you answer for them. I listen to everything. Uh, I blew her mind when I told her some old school '90s gangster rap. But I listen to all country music from my way from Hank Williams Sr. all the way to the days Jason Aldean. It doesn't matter. Uh, Aerosmith, Guns N' Roses, anything from 1960 all the way up to the now. Okay, all the way up to 2010 because I do not like the new Cardi B music and all that stuff. I don't care for it. But uh, other than that, so from basically anything from 1950 all the way up, to 2010 I could probably handle anything past 2010 you're like nah <laughs> no not really I'm getting too I old what? I understand what my grandma used to gripe about when I played my music <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why my mom griped because I always turn my music up really loud when we had like journey 80s music I mean how can you not love 80s music because right? as you get older as you get older, the music gets too loud. So, you know, that old saying, if the music's too loud, you're too old. That's just <laughs> well, true. It's true. <laughs> well, I must not be too old because I still crank it up when it comes on. <laughs> I'm probably the only 42-year-old man you know with a set of 12-inch subwoofers in his truck. Oh, nice. You jam out, huh? Oh, yeah. I mean... <laughs> Somebody said, what about yeah. the Spice Girls? <laughs> hey... If you want to be my lover, I know that song too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good question. What is what is your favorite dessert? All of them. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. <laughs> but uh, Thanksgiving would be pumpkin pie, but pumpkin pie. Uh, I like. A lot of different kind of cheesecakes because I make a lot of different kind of cheesecakes. Do you do the low carb ones, Chris? Well, now that I've got to diet and I've had to start worrying about calories, yes. But before, no. Uh, pecan pie, New York style cheesecake Ooh. is my 
that is my specialty. So, I mean, when I go to family dinners, they tell, they just basically tell me what they want me to bring, and I just cook whatever I want to bring. So they'll give me an idea. They'll be like, "Okay, Chris, we need you to bring dessert," and I'll, I'll pull the cookbooks out. I well, get fancy I with mine. Interestingly enough, because I know that if you're doing like the, are they so are they are you still continuing to do like low carb, high protein type diet? Is that what they have you on? Well, yeah, I have to. I have to have. Uh, I have to have eighty. I'm going to say like 80 milligrams of protein a day, but I can't remember exactly what the 80 units. So, okay. So I got to have at least that much protein a day. So yes, when I eat, sit down and eat a meal, it doesn't matter what I cook or what we're having. I eat my protein first and then I have my vegetables around it. And then I take a multivitamin every morning with it. And with my milk, well, now that I've got lost all the weight, they have taken me off every medication I was on except a sleeping pill and my maintenance drugs for my asthma. Wow, that's impressive. Wait, weren't what about blood blood pressure? Didn't you have high blood pressure? None no more. Seriously, you don't do you don't take anything for it anymore? No, ma'am. I, that's what I'm telling you. I've lost all wow. my pressure medicine. They took me off all my diabetic medicine. They took me off my cholesterol medicine and two or three other pills. A fluid pill, a LASIK, you know, to make your body less I do know what LASIK is. Huh. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. I'm so proud of you. I know everybody here is, too, because uh, I actually cover the show um, when it's on. We, we do recaps and stuff, and <laughs> everybody here adores you. We adore everyone, but you, you've kind of become our favorite, so don't tell the girls. Well, well I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> you know, I've had a lot of people come to me and ask me, why don't you try to do your own thing? It's like this. Me and my family, we've always been a team. So if one of us drops out, it's not going to have the same chemistry. Right. So no, I agree with you. I agree with you on that because I did see someone asking here where you can, did you ever think about, you know, going out and just having your own spinoff? And if yeah, I do I, anything on my own, if I do anything on my own, I would like to do a cooking show. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a really good so, idea, especially since you've made them friendly for, you know, people who are doing the low carb and high protein diets. That would be yes. an amazing thing to do. I, yeah, would buy I got it. some broccoli. I got some broccoli casserole recipes and just basically all the home comfort foods that we were used to eating and made us fat because we like eating. We I have revamped them where we don't use you got all the taste and none of the calories. Wow, none of the calories. Well, no, you know, ninety percent <laughs> of your well, ninety percent of your old school recipes is all bread or sugar. So you start substituting all your sugars for Splenda's or you know zero calorie sweeteners, which I use a lot of Splenda and brown sugar Splenda, and uh, like on the broccoli on the broccoli casserole, the most fattening thing about the casserole was the rice, the white rice that you put in it. So right. You, so you delete the white rice and use cauliflower rice. Oh you yeah. Can eat two. You can eat two cups or a cup of cauliflower rice, and it's thirty five calories. Is that all? Yes, ma'am. Cause I know I've started really kicking kicking mine up a notch with the cauliflower rice, like just cauliflower in general. I love it. Well, and, and broccoli casserole is nothing but but cauliflower rice, broccoli florets, a little bit of a 
a little bit of butter and an onion sauteed together and then a can of uh and it's just a can of uh cream of chicken soup and then, then some uh Velveeta cheese. Oh, be careful though. Velveeta cheese has carbs in it. Well and yeah, I, but it but, but it, not as much it, as I see what you're saying, the veggies and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So really it's just like eating broccoli and cheese. And cauliflower. Because that's what it is. Well, it sounds good. I'm gonna need some of your recipes. <laughs> oh, it's all right. But yeah, right. I mean that's just that's just some of the that's just what's I mean, you just gotta make the diet work for you and you gotta figure out ways to make you know, like me, I'm all you know, I can eat just about anything, but if it don't taste good, then I don't even wanna attempt it. So it can be healthy for me as long as it has a, a decent taste. Right. I can handle it. So that's what you need to start doing. You start making the healthier recipes and you, you fight, you start making them meet in the middle and work for you. That's what, see, that's what I'm trying to do right now and doing keto have to be careful because things that say keto on them, I found out aren't necessarily keto, <laughs> um, no. but you know what I had the other day? I had pancakes because I was really craving it. And, uh, so the pancake mix for keto is made out of primarily like uh, almond flour, almond flour, almond everything, flour. In it, and it was really, really good. I was shocked. It, I've you made, know, it, I've made chocolate chip cookies out of almond flour. Yep, I see that too, and brownies. I have a, I have a brownie mix. I'm anxious to try because you know I every got, now and then uh, you gotta have some sweet. Well, well, to be perfectly honest, you take the almond flour, and they got cake flour made out of the almond flour so you make your cake with protein flour and throw you some you make you take a little bit of butter and brown sugar splenda and make a zero calorie icing to go on top of a protein cake oh man now you got me one cake <laughs> it sounds really good it sounds I mean, really but, good I've okay. always been a cook for the kitchen or for the family. And, and I and I thought you, I kind of thought you were because yeah, I have seen you cook, and I'm like I think so. Okay, who cooks more, you or Brittany? Oh, Brittany, I'll tell you I do. Okay, hands my, down. I, my I dad do. was the same way; he was the cook. Uh, my wife. Well, it's just like this: if it's just me and her eating only, she cooks. Because she can cook just the right amount where there won't be no leftovers. If I cook, I'm cooking for the block party. Let's get it. <laughs> well, I like the leftovers because then if you want to have something for lunch the next day, it's already cooked. Right? Yeah, but my wife don't eat leftovers. Oh. I, I, I very rarely Okay, do. let me rephrase that. She will eat leftovers, but it's got to be like potato soup and chili and stuff like that that's better the next day you know but as far as to go and she'll eat like if i grill out she'll eat leftovers the next day for lunch but she's not one to eat so if i just went downstairs and cooked a box of hamburger helper and mashed potatoes and green beans for supper we would eat it and we would put it in the refrigerator and what iris didn't eat the grandbaby for the next day for lunch then it would probably get donated to somebody or thrown away, yeah. Aww. That's why I, sh I just, I mean, well, you got to understand, I can, if I, I, I don't understand, a can of vegetable soup, if I went and got a can of vegetable soup, it'd be two meals for me or three. Yep. So, at the same token, I'm still, I have a problem with cooking way too much leftovers because I'm used to eating. You know, I still haven't got my mind thinking that I don't eat what I used to. Right. So, so in, in your mind, you're still eating as much food in the past. So you're still cooking like you used to the large amount, but you technically can't, your stomach can't hold that much food. Right. Isn't that kind of what 
So after the weight well, loss surgery? Four bites. Four or five really? good bites of, yeah, that's it. Wow. Yeah, because that was one of the questions a lot of the girls had was, um, let's see. What was it? How difficult? Okay. Oh, okay. I know. Okay. I know what somebody specifically asked. How long were you in pain after your procedure? Like, cause on the, on the show, it looks like, you know, you had it and then you're just like, poof, felt better. Cause you know, I know that's how they do things. Three days. But three days. That's three it. Days. Yeah. You, it wasn't the worst part of my pain was when I first woke up from surgery and it felt like they took a hundred pound air tank and blew my stomach up like a balloon. Amen. I, it just felt like that's exactly how it felt. It just felt like I was blowing up from the inside after I, the 24 hours later, after I had to walk every 15 minutes, I to, uh, see, I stayed one extra day in Lexington, in, in Georgetown, drove home the following day. That was a Monday. Wednesday morning, I was on my riding mower mowing the yard. Wow. That's impressive. So, it, I mean... It, it it wasn't nothing really serious, painful about it, because the more you walk and the more you stay active, you don't get your you don't let your body get stiff. You know how your body gets stiff and then it hurts. So if you're up yes. walking every fifteen minutes, like the doctor tells you, you're good to go. I wouldn't have thought about you getting over that so soon, but that makes sense. Well, I mean, it, it is they do it with the um, I don't know how. Dr. Smith did it, but I know a lot of the people use the um, Da Vinci. The Da Vinci robot. Yeah, the Da Vinci yeah. robot is what I was doing. surgery with the Da Vinci, and it, it, was, it yeah. was impressive. It's impressive. As a matter of fact, Dr. Smith is the one that teaches all the doctors in the country, a lot of the doctors in the country, how to use that robot. Really? Yes. Well, I'm thankful for that because I had a surgery about five or six years ago that required the Da Vinci when, I, when they wheeled me in for my surgery. It was like, I, it looked like a big, massive, I don't even know what to call it. It's like a tarantula. It looked like the, it kind of looked like the bottom side of a crab. Yeah, a little with bit. Sti- yeah, with the legs sticking All out of the ceiling. things sticking out of it. It's crazy. But, uh, all I know okay. is, you know, it's been a lot of hard work to get where I'm at now. I wouldn't change anything about it, but maybe kicking myself in the ass to do it earlier because I wasted 10 years to get to this point. 